<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next comedian coming to the stage. You've seen him on Conan O'Brien. Please give some love to Gary Veter. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll tell you guys this. I saw a blind man and his seeing eye dog walk directly into a pool. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. They wound up being fine. But afterwards, the blind man was pretty mad at his dog. Uh, he yelled at him, bad dog. You're a bad dog. You didn't do your job. Uh, but the dog can't speak up for himself. If he could, he would have been like, I don't even know how I got this job. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm also blind. <laughs> I'm just doing this slightly better than you are, pal. <laughs> Getting older, starting to lose my hair. I don't want to go bald. My dad's bald. He looks terrible. <laughs> My friend tried to cheer me up. He's like, Gary, just because your dad's bald doesn't mean you'll be bald. I was like, buddy, my mom's bald too. <laughs> she looks terrible. <laughs> Worse than my father. Uh, I'm short. <laughs> this is my entire body. I'm five foot six. A lot of women can't see past that. I mean, they can, because I'm only five foot six. You guys get it. Average height for a guy, five foot nine. I have a friend, Dan, he's six foot three. He doesn't need that three. I do. <laughs> My best option are these things called Max Tolls. They're shoe inserts that make you three inches taller. And they have a commercial. In the commercial, they show a guy who's five foot six talking to a girl. That girl wants nothing to do with them. <laughs> then in the next scene, they show what would have happened if he had Max Tolls. And what would have happened? You guessed it. And she would have had sex with him. And that's it, that's the entire commercial. They're like, it's smooth sailing from there. But it's not smooth sailing from there. Because once he gets her in bed, he's gonna have to take off his Max Tolls. And there's gonna be an awkward moment when she says to him, where are your legs? I did go on a date recently. I took this girl to a nice Japanese restaurant. I like sushi very much, I do. But my one problem with sushi is I never know the right amount of sushi to order. And I didn't order enough for us. And I didn't know where our waiter was. So I'd ask another waiter who's nearby for help. But when I did, I got a weird vibe from him. And I was like, oh no. He thinks that I think that he's my waiter that I'm ordering through him because I can't tell the difference. So I said to him, hey buddy, just so you know, I could tell the difference. I don't think you all look the same. Anyway, it turned out it was my waiter. Do you guys know any jokes, or? <laughs> My ex-girlfriend said this once. She said, I don't find Ryan Gosling attractive. I don't get what all the fuss is about. That's why she's my ex-girlfriend. 
Nobody talks about Ryan Gosling like that. <laughs> he was interviewed in this magazine. They asked him what a good pickup line to tell guys is. He suggested a good pickup line to be asking a girl if she would like a piece of gum. She'll say yes, and then you'll be in. So I gave it a shot. I went up to this girl. I said to her, would you like a piece of gum? She responded, no. <laughs> Ryan Gosling did not prepare me for the scenario. <laughs> I had to think on my toes. I said to her, how about a Tic Tac? <laughs> she, she responded, no, get away. I said to her, can I brush your teeth for you? <laughs> she responded, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Timing, that's the most important thing with women. It's everything. And when you're a guy, all you have is two seconds to stare at a woman's breasts. <laughs> yeah. One second for each. <laughs> I was on an elevator the other day. In walked this woman with a great rack. I was doing everything I was supposed to. I was timing myself so she wouldn't see me. And I was like, one booba sippy. Two booba sippy. I looked away, but she still caught me. Cause I counted out loud. I'm Jewish. Um, anybody else here Jewish? Uh, just kidding, get them. <laughs> oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, uh, I am Jewish as well. I, uh, I just do that to teach Jewish people not to do that. A buddy of mine, he was just in Denver, Colorado. He called me up when he was there. All right. you know, they're taping this. Um, I, he called me up when he was in Denver. He calls me, he goes, Gary, I just went to a marijuana dispensary. I bought 50 Sour Patch Kids with marijuana inside them. I'm flying back to New York tomorrow. I know that you smoke a lot of pot, you fly a lot. How do I get these past security? So I told him, I'll tell you exactly what you do. I've done it before. You go to a convenience store, you buy a box of regular Sour Patch Kids, and you transfer the ones with marijuana inside them into the regular ones box. You'll have no problem getting through security. The next day, he calls me up. He goes, Gary, I'm back in New York with the Sour Patch Kids. You're the man. Thank you so much for letting me know that I could do that. And I was like, no, no. Thank you so much for letting me know that I could do that. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.